A man is in custody tonight accused of a double murder in Burlington County. Neighbors say a grandmother and her young grandson were killed. Investigators have charged a 23 year old man with killing his ex girlfriend's nine year old brother and her 68 year old grandmother. Imagine waking up to a chilling news story. A serial killer has confessed to multiple murders on Facebook Live. Police say this is a Facebook Live video of a criminal on the run. Officers say the man behind the wheel is 23 year old Terrence Matthews. This wasn't just a confession. A man who took lives without remorse, then casually hit the go live button for the world to watch. The internet was stunned and the authorities were on high alert. It's not a fictional plot line. This is the terrifying story of Terrence J. Matthews, a serial killer who took his crimes public, exposing a dark, twisted confession to the world. On the night of June 20th, 2019, viewers on Facebook witnessed something beyond horrific. A 23-year-old man, Terrence J. Matthews, went live and began revealing disturbing details about his involvement in multiple murders. You lucky because I was going to kill you. Like, you know, like the last five days, I was going to kill you. I had to keep letting you live because I've been chilling with Chrissy and like, she be talking to you, you feel me? What's even more unsettling, he wasn't done. Today, we will step into the mind of a man responsible for not one, but multiple brutal killings, all while taunting his victims and casually broadcasting his crimes on social media. This home right here behind me is where that double murder took place. Investigators say the suspect left this scene here, ended up in Camden County where he was pursued by police. And for some reason, that suspect decided to stream the entire thing live on Facebook. Stay with us as we unravel the Facebook Live confessions, the murders, and the hunt that followed. The murder of Devell Williamson. Police say 23-year-old Terrence Matthews is also behind the shooting death of Devell Williamson. It's the early hours of February 18, 2019. Deputies from the Willingboro Police Department in New Jersey respond to reports of shots fired on Millbrook Drive. Upon arrival, the scene is gut-wrenching. Inside a vehicle, 21-year-old Devell Williamson is barely clinging to life, having been shot multiple times. Next to him, his friend Brandon Clark lies on the sidewalk severely injured with a gunshot wound to his arm and a brutal blow to his head. Despite the rush to the hospital, Devell doesn't survive. Brandon, though alive, refuses to identify the shooter, claiming he never saw who attacked them. But the investigation was only beginning. Police say Matthew shot and killed a man who was sitting in a car on Millbrook Drive in the township back in February. Police recovered a bullet-riddled vehicle from the scene. And inside, they found crucial evidence, an iPhone and several fake $100 bills. The phone would soon reveal text messages dating back to 2018, detailing drug deals that ultimately led to that fateful night. It appeared this was a drug deal gone horribly wrong. Just days later, authorities had their suspect, 23-year-old Terrence J. Matthews. Though he was brought in for questioning, claiming he was at home during the shooting, police lacked enough evidence to hold him. His phone, however, was seized, and it wouldn't be long before Terrence appeared again in their sights. April 26, 2019, the grandmother and child murder. The Burlington County Prosecutor's Office charged Matthews with killing his ex-girlfriend's grandmother and younger brother inside their home along Eastbrook Lane in Willingboro, New Jersey on Wednesday. Months later, police secured a search warrant to dig through Terrence's digital communications. They found a photograph of a fake $100 bill on Facebook Messenger similar to those found at the Millbrook Drive crime scene. But surprisingly, this wasn't enough to bring Terrence back in for questioning. And so for the next five months, he walked free, a killer roaming the streets of New Jersey undetected. But on June 19, 2019, the situation took a far darker turn. That evening, 22-year-old Krista Williams returned to her Willingboro home after finishing her shift. Unaware of it, she was about to encounter a monster, Terrence Matthews, whom she had been in a relationship with but had recently broken up with, attacked her outside her home. He dragged Krista inside where the horror unfolded. Her grandmother, 67-year-old Jennifer Faso, lay on the floor, brutally stabbed to death. Terrence had killed her in a fit of rage, and the nightmare didn't stop there. Terrence then led Krista to the bathroom where her nine-year-old brother, Ishan Methion Jr., was found dead in the bathtub, stabbed and drowned. Investigators made the gruesome discovery. They say they found the bodies of 68-year-old Jennifer Vassell and her grandson, nine-year-old Ishan Mathlin Jr. 
Officers say both victims were stabbed multiple times. Police say the crime did not stop there. Prosecutors say it appears the nine-year-old was drowned in a bathtub. For hours, Terrence High on synthetic marijuana held Krista hostage, repeatedly threatening her life. The terror reached its peak when, at 7 a.m., he forced Krista into his vehicle and drove her around town. They stopped at a Dunkin' Donuts and later at a Wawa store where Krista saw her chance to escape. In a moment of bravery, she slipped away and told a store employee what had happened, pleading for help. Terrence noticed her attempts to expose him and chased her around the store with a knife, but as police were called, he escaped the scene. The Facebook Live Confession. Feel me? I'm trying to tell people, calling up for help. Uh, I think, you feel me? Nobody was really listening. Like, they want rather send me off instead of me having somebody to talk to, the ones I really want to be around. I want to be around strangers, you feel me? Later that day, in a shocking twist, Terrence Matthews took to Facebook Live. It was here that the world would witness his chilling confession in real time. Speaking directly to his audience, Terrence admitted to multiple murders and revealed his disturbing plans to kill even more. I'm sorry for everything I ever did to you, Amy. I'm sorry. I just I hope this is a lesson to you, bro. Like, make sure the next one just stare straight. Just don't wild out. You feel me? I love you, though. In one part of the live stream, he says, You lucky because I was going to kill you like the last five days. I was going to kill you and your girlfriend. Brian, you lucky because I was going to kill you. Like, you know, like the last five days, I was going to kill you. Look, I just kept letting you live because I've been chilling with Chrissy and like, she be talking to you. You feel me? I'm gonna kill you and your girlfriend for real, for real. But like. He admitted to shooting Devell Williamson on Millbrook Drive and expressed frustration that his gun jammed before he could kill Brandon Clark as well. Nobody else did that shit. I did that shit. I clapped out. I ran out of bullets and then the other gun jammed. He spoke in a calm, almost detached manner as if recounting something far less gruesome than murder. This wasn't just a confession, it was a taunt. A man with no remorse casually discussing his reign of terror as viewers watched in horror. The police chase and arrest. Cops on me. I got the f***ing cops on me. Following his Facebook Live confession, it didn't take long for law enforcement to track down Terrence. He was spotted driving in Camden, New Jersey, about 15 miles from the scene of his crimes. A high-speed chase took place all while Terrence continued to live stream the event, narrating the chase as if it were some sort of twisted game. Eventually, Terrence was arrested after a crash and taken to a local hospital for his injuries. Police say this is a Facebook Live video of a criminal on the run. Officers say the man behind the wheel is 23-year-old Terrence Matthews. He eventually crashes into a pole and was arrested. He would soon find himself behind bars, facing a barrage of charges for the murders of Devell Williamson, Jennifer Faso, and Ishan Methion Jr. The Burlington County Prosecutor's Office charged Matthews with killing his ex-girlfriend's grandmother and younger brother inside their home along Eastbrook Lane in Willingboro, New Jersey on Wednesday. During police interviews, Terrence openly admitted to all the killings. He coldly explained that he had to drown Krista's brother after stabbing him because he didn't finish the job. He even shared that his only reason for not killing Brandon Clark was that his gun had run out of bullets. Nobody else did that shit, I did that shit. I clapped out. I ran out of bullets, and then the other gun jammed. Sentencing and aftermath. Police say the motive for this crime appears to be the result of an argument between the suspect and his ex-girlfriend. Matthews is now facing a number of charges, including murder and kidnapping. In 2022, Terrence J. Matthews finally faced justice. He pleaded guilty to all the charges against him, an overwhelming list due to his violent behavior. In a deal with the prosecutors, he was sentenced to 60 years in prison, but the scars left by his actions won't fade anytime soon. The victim's families will never fully recover from the devastation, and the haunting footage of his Facebook Live confession remains an eerie reminder of the evil that lurks in plain sight. This is something that kind of hits home. My son is very upset right now, just hearing about the news, so I have to go into comfort mode when I go into the house. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to think about it. If this story shocked you as much as it did us, make sure to subscribe for more deep explorations into the darkest corners of true crime. We're committed to bringing you the real stories behind the headlines, the ones you won't forget. And remember your voice matters. 
Share your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. How do you think social media plays into modern day crime? Stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.